This segment is sponsored by the Potawatomi Zoo. Dog's life at the Potawatomi Zoo, but not in a bad way. Josh took us behind the scenes to visit some of the canine friends you probably won't find burying a bone in your backyard. Take a look. They're not regular dogs, they are painted dogs. We're here at the Potawatomi Zoo with Josh, getting ready for some feeding time with the painted dogs here. I'm staying a little bit far away because <laughs> I'm not super familiar with these guys, but we're here, Josh is the expert. Josh, what are they about to be fed? You know what, so they're very excited right now because they know they're here with their keeper, Gretchen, and they're getting ready to get their food for the day. Um, but these guys are pack hunters in the wild. Mm. So um, these are actually an endangered species. They're called painted dogs from Africa, um, but because they do run in packs, they're very dangerous to livestock. So unfortunately, they've gotten kind of a bad rap in the wild and their numbers are really down. Um, but we're fortunate enough to have a breeding program here at the zoo, so we're hoping that we're gonna have babies. But we always are talking about the enrichment programs that we do, and it's very important. You know, sometimes it's hard for people to see some of the mice that snakes eat and some of the animals, but here at the zoo, it's really important for a species like these painted dogs to have um, natural food. So, mm -hmm. you know, we may feed, you know, rabbits, of course, that are, they're not being fed alive or anything, um, but it's just, it's important for them to have the fur, the, um, the insides, and it's also important for them to work as a group um, to be able to um, hunt for this food because uh, it shows that natural behavior. It helps with the dynamics of breeding and everything. So Absolutely. that's what we're going to do today is we're going to do one of our enrichments. We actually take some food and we put it out onto a bungee cord and it allows the dogs to actually fight for the food like they would in the wild if to they were really um, in a compact. Yeah. That natural environment. I think Absolutely. that it's so important that you're always thinking about that, right? And how to get the animals really in that natural way. So also you said that there are going to be some expansion, some changes happening with the wild dogs. There is. Yeah. So if you come to the zoo, the wild dogs have always been across a moat and then you have to look through chain link but as the zoo grows and modernizes we're really trying to get away from fences we want mm -hmm. that natural feeling when you uh, see these animals so right, right the, in their environment yeah so the front fence is coming down the dogs will be able to be, get in the moat so they'll the love to be out. able to swim <laughs> there'll be a viewing window that kids can go right up to so they can be nose to nose with these painted dogs and I, I just think it'll help really build that empathy and that passion for wildlife that we're trying to do it's, it's much different when you see an animal off in yeah. the distance versus that right up close personal maybe experience. those future zookeepers too really instilling that passion in those kids so yeah. what's the best way for families Families for anybody to come out to see the painted dogs and to see the zoo. The best way is honestly get that membership. It's a, it's you know two visits of a family of four to the zoo pays for that membership. You can come anytime you want, feed the giraffes, see the new lions, see all the new things happening, ride the train and carousel, and check out our uh, painted dog uh, group. So check out the painted dogs right here at the zoo. You can visit the painted dogs up close and personal at the Potawatomi Zoo. Visit them at 500 South Greenlong Avenue in South Bend. Give them a call at 574-235-9800. Visit their website or check them out on Facebook. 